Now, the managing director of the International Monetary Fund, Kristalina Georgieva, earlier today presented the latest global policy agenda report to the media during her opening press conference at the World Bank IMF 2024 annual meetings. Georgieva said the key policy priorities for governments right now are to secure soft landing, a breakaway from low growth and high debt levels. Here is an excerpt. How is the mood of your people? The answer is uh, not so good. Families are still hurting from high prices and global growth is anemic. We expect the global economy to grow by 3.2% this year and slow to 3.1% annual growth in five years. This is the lowest medium-term outlook in decades. And trade is no more a powerful engine of growth. We live in a more fragmented global economy. Meanwhile, public debt is on track to surpass $100 trillion this year, an all-time high, an equivalent to 93% of global GDP. By uh, 2030, we expect that figure to approach 100% of GDP. So here is the bottom line. The global economy is in danger of getting stuck on a low growth, high debt path. That means lower incomes and fewer jobs. It also means lower government revenues, so less investment to support families and fight long-term challenges like uh, climate change. These are anxious times. With these problems in mind, we have just published our latest global policy agenda. Here it is one more time, if you haven't seen it uh, the first time around. Uh, and it is very straightforward. It focuses on two priorities. Secure the soft landing and break out of the low growth, high debt path. How can we do this? First, ensure that inflation gets back to target everywhere. Major central banks, including in the US, have rightly embarked on an easing path. The trick now is to finish the job on inflation without unnecessarily damaging the job market. Second, now is the time to act on debt and deficits. After years of much needed fiscal support in response to shocks, now is the time to rebuild fiscal buffers. In most countries, that can be done gradually, but it needs to start now. Third and most important, it is crucial that countries carry out pro-growth reforms, from cutting red tape to improving governance. We have seen reforms being uh, a source of significant benefits across countries. Uh, our analysis shows that these reforms can boost output by up to 8% over four years in developing countries. As we tackle these challenges, it is also essential that we continue to cooperate on climate, technology, debt, trade. Climate change and technology are unleashing transformations to the global economy that require global response. Only by working together can we seize the opportunities and mitigate the risks of these great changes. On debt, we are making progress under the G20 Common Framework to speed up debt restructurings. Uh, the sovereign, uh, Global Sovereign Debt Roundtable that met yesterday is helping to make the process more predictable and efficient. But we need to do more to help countries in debt distress get back on their feet faster.